Hello, this is Music Tech Help Guy, and welcome to this video tutorial on customizing your shortcuts, aka key commands, in Logic Pro 10. Um, this is one of the more useful features in Logic, is the ability to fully customize your key commands. So this allows me to pull shortcuts from other DAWs I use into Logic so that I'm not constantly having to turn off my Pro Tools key commands in my head when I work in Logic. The four key commands I'm going to show you how to customize today are uh, zooming horizontally, which is basically uh, command uh, right and command left. Um, also, I'm going to show you how to customize the record key command, which is by default R. And I'm also going to show you how to customize the open mixer uh, key command, which is by default in Logic Command 2. So these are four uh, shortcuts I use all the time in Pro Tools, and I just want to basically make them the same in Logic so that I don't have to constantly think to myself to turn those shortcuts off in my brain. Um, so the way you can um, customize your shortcuts is go up to Logic Pro 10, go down to the Key Commands option, and then go to the Edit option. Now the first thing I'm going to do, um, just for good measures, I'm going to go to the Options tab. I'm going to go down to Initialize All Key Commands. This sets all the key commands back to default. And then I'm going to make sure under Options I'm on the US preset, and that's just for a US keyboard. Believe it or not, there's also a Pro Tools uh, keyboard option, but we're not going to use that. Now, customizing the key commands in Logic is 100% fully customizable. You can customize any key command you want. The only thing you have to remember is that sometimes you may learn a new key command, but then cover up a previous key command with that, that key command that you just learned. So a perfect example of this is recording in Logic is R. Well, the zoom uh, keys in Pro Tools are T and R. So I'm going to be covering up the R key command with the T and then the R, uh, the R key command, which is a zoom key command. So we're going to have to find a different shortcut for recording, which is fine because that's what I plan to do all along. So what I'm going to do is uh, up here in the little search box, I'm going to search uh, just zoom. And one of the options that should pop up is zoom horizontal out and zoom horizontal in. You can see the key commands for these are uh, command left and command right. So for zoom horizontal out, that is going to be R. So I'm just going to click on the learn by key label button and then press R. And it's going to say, hey, this is already being used. Do you want to replace this? I'm going to hit replace. And so we're replacing that key command with R. We're going to click horizontal in, which is command right. And we're going to change that to T. And we're going to hit replace and replace again. And there we go. So we've replaced our key commands for zooming with T to zoom in and R to zoom out. So let's go back up there uh, under key commands edit. Now um, since we are using R to zoom out we can't use R to record so let's search up the record key command. Um, recording right here no longer has a key command because we just uh, replaced it. So I'm going to click on that, click on learn by key label and the one I like to use in Pro Tools is three on the number pad. Once again, three on the number pad is being used for something else. Not really sure what it's being used for, but it's not something I use in Logic normally anyway. So I'll just hit replace and replace again. And now three is my new record key command. Lastly, I'm going to search up mixer. Uh, opening the mixer by default in Logic is command two. I'm going to say learn by key label, and I'm going to change that to command equal sign. And we'll hit replace. So now three on the number pad should record, which it does. And then command equal sign on the keyboard opens up the mixer. And there we go. So that's customizing your key commands and logic. Very simple to do, very easy to do. And for me, saves me a lot of hassle in my workflow so I don't have to just completely turn off my Pro Tools key commands in my brain. I can still grab some of those, those shortcuts that I use in Pro Tools and pull them over to logic. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please like the video below and also subscribe to the channel. If you really, really want to support the channel, please leave a uh, monthly contribution at patreon.com. That is patreon.com forward slash music tech help guy. And we will continue to bring you guys high quality content like this on a daily basis. 
So thank you for your support and thanks for watching.